In today's tutorial, I'll be using Inkscape version 91 to show you how to create a 3D style, um, whatever you want to call this here. I guess you can call it a, a sphere or a layered sphere. Um, either way, I'm going to show you how to create this concept using Inkscape version 91. So let's get started. This should be your view when you open up Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is come over to our Align and Distribute menu and open that up. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop down menu. And then we'll go over to our Edit, uh, Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. We'll open that up. Then we'll go to File, Document Properties. Let's get rid of that box, uncheck that, close that out. View. Make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to Zoom, and we're going to zoom in at 1 to 1. So the first thing we're going to do is create a circle. So come over here to the Create Circles and Ellipses and Arcs tool. Click on that. Hold Control and Shift on the keyboard, and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle just like that. Now let's take the arrow and let's bring this thing to the center of, this, of the screen right here. Now let's turn this red and let's drop the opacity in half. And then we're going to right click this and go to duplicate. And we're going to turn that duplicated copy blue and then hold control and shift in the keyboard and let's click and drag this out to about here. We'll make it about about that much bigger. And then we're going to right click this and we're going to duplicate this again. And we're going to turn this copy green. And we're going to take this top arrow right here. And we're going to click and drag this down. Down to about there. And then we're going to click and drag this up. You're going to hold control on the keyboard while doing this. Hold control and click and drag this up to right about here. And once you've done that, we'll hold control and shift. And then we're going to click and drag this in so it, it, it fits just inside of the blue circle there. And after that, we're going to take our magnifying glass and we're going to zoom in just over the left edge of that green oval. And then we're going to go back to our arrow and then hold control and shift and let's grab this little handle right here and let's scale this down so that it's just a hair larger than the blue circle beneath it. If you see on my screen right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you. It's just overlapping by just a little bit maybe even that much. We're going to want it overlapping just a little bit in order for what we're going to do to take effect. So once you've done that, you can press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. You can right click this and go to duplicate and then hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this one up to here in about the same position. To make sure we have this position correctly, we're going to go back to our magnifying glass and we're going to zoom back in over that side. And we're going to go to the arrow and let's hold control and click and drag this down. We're not going to resize this. We're not going to scale this. We're just going to move it up and down to make sure it's in the right position. So we're going to hold control. We're just going to click and drag this down right to about... I'm actually going to zoom in a little more. You can press the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to zoom in and out. I'm going to make sure it's just a hair larger than that blue circle. So it's overlapping just a little bit. All right. So once you have that position like that, we're pretty good. So. The next thing you do is you can right click this and go to duplicate and let's hold control and bring this down here. And then let's hold control and shift and let's make this bigger. Let's make this about, about this big. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to go in here. We're going to grab our magnifying glass. We're going to grab the arrow and then we're going to make sure this is just slightly bigger than that blue circle. I'm actually another way you could zoom in is you can hold control on the keyboard and then roll your uh, the wheel on the mouse. You could roll it in. You could roll it up and that'll zoom in. So I'm actually going to zoom out a little. I'm going to hold control and shift and I'm going to scale this down just a little more. Right about there. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to press one on the keyboard to zoom back out. And I'm going to right click this and duplicate it. And I'm going to hold control and click and drag this down here to about the same position. Go back to the magnifying glass, zoom in over that corner, and this one we're not going to resize. We're just going to move it until it fits right where we want it to go. So we're going to hold control and click and drag this up to about right about there. Maybe a little closer. I'm going to hold control and move the mouse wheel to zoom in. Move that up to right about. That's pretty good right there. I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom out. Now the next thing I'm going to do is 
I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and I'm going to go and click on all four of these green ovals. So once you have them all selected, let's right click them and go to duplicate and then we'll go to path union and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on that blue circle and let's go to path difference and then we'll go to path break apart and then let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything and let's click this top blue section and then hold shift and click on the green oval beneath it and let's go to path union and then click on the next blue section below it and let's press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and then we'll click on this green section right here and hold shift and click on the blue section above it go to path union to unify them together and then we'll click on this blue section right below it and we'll press delete to get rid of that and then we can take this green copy right here let's click on that and where it says lower selection one step let's click that until it ends up below the red circle okay it just went below the red circle so there we go we're good and then let's right click that and go to duplicate and let's turn this red and let's hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag this in to about there right about that much I'm actually gonna turn that black and then I'm gonna lower that below the red circle so we're gonna come over here where it says lower selection one step I'm gonna click that twice until it lowers beneath that red circle and then with that still selected hold shift and click on the green circle and let's right click them and go to duplicate and we'll go to path difference and then we're going to turn that orange just for now and let's bring the opacity all the way up and the reason I'm doing this is I want you to be able to see what I'm going to do next just to give you an idea what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on this red circle and then I'm going to right click it and go to duplicate and with that new duplicated copy selected I'm going to hold shift and click on that orange ring and go to path intersection and then I'm going to go to path break apart and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the bottom part of that ring to deselect it so you should just have this top portion selected and then you could press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and then we can click on this orange piece of the ring right here hold shift and then click on the red circle and let's go to path difference so we end up with something like that now let's come down here and do the same thing let's take this green oval and let's actually send this to the bottom let's lower selection to the bottom click that button and then we'll right click that and go to duplicate and we're going to turn that black and hold control and shift and let's scale this in to about here and let's come up here to where it says lower selection one step we'll click that once and then twice and then it should put it below the red circle and then we'll hold shift and click on this green oval and let's right click that and go to duplicate and then go to path difference and I'm actually going to make this one yellow. Let's just make that yellow and bring the opacity all the way up. It's easier to see the yellow against the red than it is to see the orange. So that's why I did that. Then let's click on this red circle. Let's right click it and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on that yellow ring. And let's go to path intersection and then path break apart and then hold shift and click on that bottom part of the yellow ring to deselect it and then you should just have this one selected and you could press delete to get rid of that and then we're gonna click this bottom part of the yellow ring and then hold shift and click on the uh, the red circle right there and go to path difference now what we can do is we can click and drag over the entire thing and let's bring the opacity on this thing all the way up and you could see you could already see this thing starting to take form so the next thing we'll do is let's click on this red circle and let's give this a radial gradient actually let's um let's color this um let's give this like a like a shade of uh, pink like over here let's make it that shade and then we'll click the radial gradient button and then come over to this button right here that says edit gradient we're gonna click on that and then we're going to come to this drop down up here. We're going to click on this drop down, select the second item from that drop down, and let's come over to the A column. Let's bring the opacity on that all the way up. And then we'll go back up to the first the first option in that menu and click this button right here that says insert new stop. We're going to click that. And then we're going to go back to this menu and click on the first option again. 
and we're going to add a new stop again. So when you look at that menu now, we should have four stops. So we're going to go down to the very last stop. We're going to click on that one. And let's come over to the L column and let's darken this thing up. Let's make this thing about that dark. We don't want it completely black like that. We want it a little, little less than that. About that much is good. Then let's go to uh, this one right here, the second to last one, the third one down. And let's darken that one up a little bit. Not quite as dark as the previous one, but, but pretty dark. Right about there. And then we'll go to, we're going to leave this one how it is. We'll go to the first one and let's lighten this one up a bit. Let's put that about there. And then we could hold control and shift and grab this circle right here, this handle. We could scale that up. Or actually, let's take this one right here. Let's scale that up to here and let's bring this up to here. And then hold control and shift and let's grab this circle and scale that in about that much. We can actually move this thing to the right a little bit. Kind of like that. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go back to our arrow. And let's hold shift and click on each one of these blue selections right here. So once you once you have all three of them selected, let's go to path. We'll go to path union. And then we're gonna come down here to our colors. And we're going to give that a yellow color. Let's slide this thing all the way back to the beginning. Let's make this a yellow shade kind of like that. And then we're going to give this a radial gradient as well. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to come over here to where it says edit gradient. We'll click on that. And we'll go. We'll click on this. We'll go to the, the, uh, the second stop. We'll go to the A column. Bring that all the way to the right. Let's go back to the first stop and add a new stop in there. And then we'll go back to the uh, first stop again and add another stop. And then let's go to this very one on the bottom over here, on the very bottom. And let's make this red. You can come over to the H column, just slide that all the way over to the left. And then we'll come over to this one, the, the third one down. Let's make this a little more orange, kind of like that. Right about there is good. And then we'll come up to this first one. That very first one up top, and we'll make that one lighter, kind of like that. And then let's hold Control and Shift, and let's grab this handle, and let's just bring this thing out to about here. And then we can click this middle one right here, and we can just bring that up to the top. And let's actually hold Control and Shift, and let's drag that out a little more, kind of like that. And right about there, I'd say that's pretty good. We can go back to our arrow now, and then we can click on this uh, this green ring right here. And let's give that a um, a linear gradient, and let's pick that uh, that orange red gradient we just created, kind of like that. And then we'll go to um, this green ring right here, and press F7 on the keyboard to bring up the dropper. And let's select a very uh, like a yellowish shade for that. And we can put that just how that is right there. And then we'll press F. Uh, we can press F1 on the keyboard to get back to our arrow. Now what we'll do is we'll click on this this piece up top here and then we'll right click it and go to duplicate and we're gonna turn that black we're gonna drop the opacity in half and then let's go to you know what let's hold control and let's just bring this thing down to about here right about there and then we'll break it apart by going to path break apart and let's click off of it to deselect everything. And let's click this uh, this bottom piece right here. And let's get rid of that by pressing delete. Then let's click this one and then hold shift and click this other black one right here. We'll go to path, union. And then we'll click this uh, pink sphere in the middle. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on those two black pieces we just created. And go to path, intersection. And we can lower that one selection. And you could see it created a nice little drop shadow kind of like that. I could actually drop the opacity on that a little bit. We don't need it to be that dark. Now the, the very last thing we'll do is we're going to we're going to create a circle. Hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag to create a circle kind of like that. And then let's go back to the arrow. Let's hold shift and click on this very top item and let's center that up on the vertical axis and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. 
And then let's hold control and click and drag this thing up to about here. Right near the top. We could actually hold control and drag this out, make it a little bigger. Then I'm going to click on this middle selection right here. I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on that black circle we just created. And then we'll go to path. We're going to take the intersection of that. So we'll go to path and intersection. You'll have to excuse me, my computer is lagging for some reason today. And then we're going to make that white kind of like that, just to give it sort of like a uh, little, you know, like a little subtle glossy effect. And then that should pretty much be it. We can click and drag over this whole thing now and group it together. And then click it a second time to get our rotation handles. And then just hold control and just rotate this thing around. Kind of like that. And we can scale it down if we want. And as you can see, we have created this um, 3D sphere using Inkscape. So, uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, just let me know.